Well, good morning, everybody. It is January 2016, and the new lawn season is, is uh, I would say the, the new lawn season, but it's not really a new lawn season. Um, my season has never, never, it hasn't stopped. It, we have had exceptionally warm weather down here in the south, and I guess it's because of the El Nino or whatever the hell they call it. And in fact, it looks like we got some rain chance today. It's in the 40s right now. Um, we've had really, really good warm weather all through November and December. And we just got our first frost this week where we hit 28, 29 degrees in the mornings with some moisture. So that killed the grass. That, that made all our lawns dormant. Here's a view of all our lawns. They're all yellowing. They're all dormant, um, but the weeds are still there and the leaves are still there. So we still have people um, wanting their yard serviced. And when you have over a hundred accounts, then you stay, you stay extremely busy with that. Um, so between doing the lawns, I'm doing like anywhere from eight to, I don't know, eight to 10 yards a week. Um, some are new customers, um, referrals that they just don't want to mess with their leaves or, you know, they're, they pretty much took their little push mowers and they drained their gas and everything. They did all the, the good little boy and girl things that you're supposed to do that, that the manufacturers tell them to do. And, you know, they did that. And then, um, <laughs> their, their grass kept growing. So. I'm getting like I got a I got three I got to do today um, three lawns today did one yesterday um, and so things are going to start dying down now now that we got the frost and the, and the grass just went overnight everything just turned yellow um, now we're going to we're going to hit the wall now for work and but what I've been doing is pressure washing uh, like a son of a gun. And I have been busy, and I promised you guys that um, that this this winter I was going to do a lot of pressure washing, and you know try to put my feet up. So I have been doing a lot of pressure washing. Um, I still look the same as you can see, still me, putting on a little bit of weight. My my face is rounder, um, but that's because we've slowed down quite a bit. So the pressure washing is going well. I can't. Uh, I can't complain at all. I did very, very little advertising. I purchased um, $100 worth of refrigerator magnets, and I purchased uh, about $100 in yard signs, and I got one yard sign left, and one got stolen by a competitor, and I caught him, and one got um, picked up by a maintenance crew, which, you know, their job is to clean the islands and stuff like that you know the center islands grass islands and these certain areas and you know they did what I would have done I would I'd pick it up too and you know at least they were honest when I asked them they were like yeah if we we did you know we got it and uh, my guys probably threw it away and I was like all right well that's cool you know I understand um, but the the magnets and the yard signs really work like a champ and the guy who stole my yard sign went on a marketing spree and uh, started putting uh, yard signs up everywhere. And I don't know, I think I put a hurting on his on him a little bit this year because once he stole my yard sign, it was game on and I completely um, advertised in his area, his main area where he works. I flooded it with my yard sign and with refrigerator magnets, which are, you know, business card refrigerator magnets and I'm getting calls off of them all the time. So I also drive around uh, with my truck. I'm driving around with, um, just like my refrigerator magnet, I got the door magnets that say the same thing and it's it's um, fixed pricing. So we're like, the people around here will say, yeah, like this one guy has one yard sign, it says $79 per thousand square foot, and then another yard sign right down the street, same guy, says $89 per thousand square foot, and then you go down the street a little bit more and it's back to $79. I think he even has one in the area, and I'm talking all in the same area here, the same, like, area, <laughs> the same zip code. Um, 
It'll, there'll even be one that says $69. See, there's one right there that says $89, and I passed one earlier that said $79. So, I mean, the guy's a clown. Um, and that's why people call me, because they say, yeah, I see your, your flat rate pricing, you know, and this guy's like, you know, $79 or $89, but then the fine print says 1,000 square foot, you know, per 1,000 square foot. Well, you know, this, this guy, this guy's too much. And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm in and out in about an hour, one story, 70 bucks, two story, 120. So what do you got? And then, um, so that's my fixed pricing. That's what it says. It says fixed pricing, licensed and insured. In fact, I'll even show you. I should do a marketing video, really. Um, hang on a second. I'll, I'll show you guys. I got a new truck. Uh, I don't roll in the white Ford Ranger anymore. And I got a new trailer. It's an enclosed trailer. Um, color coded to match my truck. Nice. I like it. Let me see if this shows. Can you see that? Go ahead and hang on. Where are we at? There we go. Hopefully that's focusing for you. I believe it is. So that right there is my magnet. And I just go along to all these new neighborhoods that have their new HOA approved black metal boring ass mailboxes and I stick it to the door of their mailbox on the outside. You can't open mailboxes um, and you can't interfere with the flag. So as long as you don't interfere with the flag and as long as you don't open the door, you're okay. So don't let people tell you, oh, you can't. Yes, you can. Just don't open the door. Don't interfere with the flag and you'll be all right. And what I do is I just stick the magnet to the door down below so they see that it's actually hanging off and it's not like a sticker stuck to it and so they can just quickly peel it off without scraping their nail on the on their mailbox or something I'll just put it on there but hang it down a little lower so part of the magnets hanging off and they can grab it and go oh cool it's a magnet and even if they don't want my service whatever they can put it on their refrigerator and, and hang their kids pictures or their, their kids school work or their little artsy artsy fartsy stuff that that they or their kids are doing and and they always have me in their home and I do that with my my lawn care and I do that with the pressure washing and so I'm always in their home and when they need somebody boom there I am there's my refrigerator so as this clown goes around stealing yard signs and oh and I caught him I caught him big time and he didn't even have the balls to call me back but as he goes around stealing yard signs and spending money on yard signs and doing all the crap that he does, I just go out a couple days, I drop about a thousand of those magnets out and I stay busy. And I've been staying busy. And so there you go. And you know, I already got the equipment, so I might as well have advertised. And I, I did, I stayed really, really busy. Um, you know, but like I've said in the past, time work is going to slow down in January you hit a wall in January because everybody's Christmas bills you know everybody wants everything looking good for, for Christmas and, and the holidays and you know people coming over and New Year's celebrations and all that but then once January hits and people start looking at their credit card statements man we're out we're out out to lunch we're you know what I'm saying we're out to lunch so thank God gas prices are low so people got a little more jingle in their pockets um, so you know, I think I think that's a help. I'm not really spending any money, and I'm making a lot of money. So, I mean, I go out, I do four or five of these houses in a day, and that's what I try to do. Is I try to schedule like three or four on on Wednesday and three or four on on Thursday, and I'm bringing in you know two bedroom or two story homes. I'm bringing in anywhere from seven hundred, eight hundred dollars, and sometimes up to a thousand because then I charge them a hundred and fifty dollar flat rate fee. To do their driveway, sidewalk, front walkway, their front porch, their back porch, you know, all their concrete. I'll do all their concrete for like 150 bucks while I'm there doing their home. So two and a half hours later, you know, 200 bucks, 250 bucks in two and a half, three hours of work. And, you know, who can complain with that? And all I'm using is a little bit of gas to run my pressure washer and a little bit of industrial bleach, which you buy in bulk. So it's been working. It's been working. So Anyways, lots of changes for the 2016 season. Um, I might, you know, I, I took everything down. There's a discussion. I think if you click on discussion or something, you can see why I took everything down. I don't want problems between um, 
followers. I don't want arguing. I don't want bickering. I don't want stupidity. And there's a lot of bullshit going on right now in the long community on YouTube with, with some people that just aren't happy unless they're causing problems and rifts in people and, and calling each other. And Man, I'm just not interested in that. And then when some douchebag came out and broke some crap that, that I don't know, whatever, for whatever reason felt they was obligated to do that, um, I figured, you know what, I'm going to take my shit down for a while. And I'm going to avoid the problems that people might have fighting amongst each other. And when I'm ready, if I want, I'll come back. And I kind of want to, but just not in the same capacity that I was before. So I'm going to start doing some videos again because this is my life. This is what I do. Um, you know, I cut grass. I pressure wash. I do landscaping. And I enjoy helping people make money. And, you know, it was fun. And I like to do it. And that's, you know, probably what I'm going to do, but it's not going to be like it was before. It's not going to be as demanding. I mean, I was spending three hours a day editing videos and putting videos up every day. So not going to be doing that. Not going to be a lot of editing. Going to be mostly, um, you know, what you see is what you get. I've learned a lot with videoing on how to video and how to blend videos. So, like, I can take this video right here once I stop it. I can send it up to YouTube and then I can continue later on with another video and then while, while it's up on YouTube I can blend them two together and then put them public um, as one video without having to open up my computer and do all types of, of editing and programs and all types of saving and oh my god it takes so long so I can just send this up and who cares right if I picked my nose I picked my nose we all pick our noses um, I don't have to worry about that um, I will say this I'm gonna ask that people don't call me so much, all right? Um, I know there's a few of you that do, and for those of you that are already my friends, like personal friends or whatever, that we talk, you know who you are. Um, go ahead, you know, you we're friends now, you know, we, we could talk, and if I don't answer my phone, or if I don't respond to your text, you're not gonna take it personal. Because you know I'm, I'm busy and you know I, I talk. But people that are coming across me or that don't normally um, contact me, please don't. And I, I only say that because there's just, you know, I can't. Um, my last channel had almost 4,000 subscribers. And trying to keep up with the comments, holy crap, was hard. And, but then I get text messages at all hours of the day and night um, and you know I don't know if it's a customer I don't know who it is so I have to stop what I'm doing read my text because it might be a customer you know my phone rings and it's a number that's not from around here it could be a customer it could be a soldier who has a out of area phone number you know I got lots of soldiers or customers um, and then it's not it's somebody from YouTube and don't get me wrong I, I love you guys just as much as you love me um, you know, and I appreciate you guys just as much as you guys appreciate me. Um, really, seriously. You know, that's the truth. And that's, I really enjoy this and I enjoy it with you. But I can't do what I was doing before. And I was burning out pretty fast. I was really looking forward to winter. And when that schmuck started spamming people and making comments, you know, to, to my followers, uh, I pretty much, that was my excuse sort of and like the final nail in the coffin for me to just shut everything down and I did and I shut everything down and very few people know um, you know the whole truth and so that's why I went ahead and I put a discussion up I think a discussion I think I don't know somewhere on this channel you should be able to find where I explain shit about my ex-wife and my ex-stepdaughter and from there there's no secrets so you know whatever follow me don't follow me like me don't like me watch me don't watch me but don't pick on any people that do I mean you know what I'm saying just let's be mature about this I'm not interested in being friends like um, and I don't mean this in a bad way but I mean I'm not interested in, in being friends with other lawn channels and you know call each other and start talking shit about other channels 
that's not what I do. That's not what I want to do. And that road started to get opened up on me as well. And I was almost almost going down that, that road. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want shout outs. I'm not going to give shout outs. Um, because this is my channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not here to give a shout out to any other channel or to mention any other channels. And I just assume no other channels really mention me. Um, in any way shape or form because it brought animosity and people that followed me would contact me and say hey so and so is talking shit about you and then I would watch that video and I would take the time to watch that video and it really wouldn't be shit about me it was sort of shit about me and I could have taken it that way but I didn't maybe I decided not to take it that way the dude that was right who told me he was right and you know who you are um, but I decided not to take it that way but then that stays on your back and it stays on your mind and you know I just don't want it so there's no sense in it so I'm gonna do my thing I'm gonna do my channel and if you like it great if you don't like it great I'm not gonna take food off your table and I ask that you don't try to take food off mine and you know I'm not chasing your your girl and I ask you to not chase mine you know what I mean we just be mature people here we're not we're not trying to hurt each other I'm not trying to hurt you is what I'm trying to say okay and really you don't need to try to hurt me this isn't a competition and everybody should really just enjoy whatever enjoy your day make money today uh, I'm gonna make almost almost 200 bucks today between these three uh, these three yards so I will shut this down I'm gonna put this video up and the next video will be I don't know <laughs> but the next video will be when the next video is and uh, Let's just do this thing. All right. Cool